Chrysanthemum. Well, it is time for our weekly political segment, Texas Face Off. You can catch it here on Midday every Tuesday. And joining us today, we have Samantha Robles and Matt Makoviak. So, Samantha is the Advocacy Director of Progress Texas, an organization advocating for progressive ideals and policies. She recently served as Communications Director with the Workers' Defense Project in Austin and as a Legislative Assistant to former State Senator Sylvia Garcia. Matt Makoviak is a political and communications consultant and president of Potomac Strategy Group. He served in senior roles for two U.S. senators and for then Governor George W. Bush. Makoviak currently serves as a chairman of the Travis County Republican Party. I should say the chairman of the Travis County Republican Party. Thank you both for joining Thanks us this morning. Her. So, you know, I think obviously the big thing that everyone's talking about today is George H.W. Bush and the legacy that he leaves behind. And I think some of that is not just because he was such a stoic person and such a stoic president, but also I feel like after his presidency, we really started to see a shift in politics where things became a little more combative. Uh, Matt, we'll start with you. What are your thoughts there? Yeah, I mean, politics has changed. There's no question about it. Uh, it's become more partisan, clearly. Uh, it's become certainly a lot nastier. Um, you know, Bush at times, George H.W. Bush certainly uh, knew how to, uh, to to throw a jab if he needed to in campaigns. Um, but I think his approach to life was very different from what we see today. Um, he was someone that was kind and generous, um, looked for the good in people, was really in this for public service, really wanted to be a public servant. And obviously someone like him uh, didn't necessarily need to do that. He could have lived a totally different life had he chose to. Uh, he enlisted uh, in, in the Navy as an aviator at the age of 18 and after Pearl Harbor. He was the youngest naval aviator in the history of the country at the time. Uh, and his public service career, which spanned 70 years, began at that point and continued. And so uh, this is a wonderful thing that we could pause and reflect and thank his family, but and also think about his family at this time and, and be grateful for the life he lived and, and, and the service he gave to our, to our nation. Yeah. You know, Sam, one of the things that I think is interesting about uh, former President Bush is he came to his political career during a time when Texas was very blue. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being the Republican Party chair, the chairman of the, the GOP in a blue Texas was very different. He had to learn to work across the aisle, right? Absolutely. And, and some of the things that we can see about Bush even before he was uh, president and vice president was that he and Barbara were uh, longtime supporters of Planned Parenthood right before he ran for presidency. And so was his father and his grandfather. They were longtime supporters of Planned Parenthood. And his reputation in Houston was definitely for standing up for people. He was known to go out and fight for people. And, and some of the things that he did was increase social spending. Uh, so we definitely see the ways, even though it was, he, it was a blue state then, finding ways to uphold those values and working with people across the aisle. Yeah, you know, I, I guess my question is, do you think as we reflect on his ability to work across the aisle, this will say something to current lawmakers about the need to work across the aisle and, and to not be so partisan? We'll start with you. Sam. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Bush, when he was president, worked with Democrats to pass the Americans with Disability Act um, in a time when presidents wanted to work with Congress to pass legislation. I think uh, he leaves a, a lot of lessons to be learned. Matt. Well, uh, yeah, what's interesting about it is um, he didn't have Republican control of the House or the Senate when, during his, his four years as president. And mm -hmm. so uh, we are now entering a period of divided government here in January with Democrats taking the House back. And so I think this is a, a positive moment for the country in the sense that we can all look to his example, look to what he got done, look to how he approached uh, relationships, uh, how he handled uh, sort of the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, you know, business of politics. Um, it's very, it was, it's, it's refreshing to see his example versus some of the stuff we see today. And so hopefully everyone can look to it and, and try to uh, live it in their own lives. You know, you obviously worked with a former president, our former governor, George W. Bush. His relationship with his father was very close. It was. And, and one of the things that's really special about, about the Bush family is, is their close family ties. Uh, you see that if you, if you know any of the family members at any level, um, it, it's important. And, and again, I think the thing to come back to is just how public service is really a big part of that family. In mm -hmm. some ways, it's the thing that defines that family. Um, they obviously had wealth and they could have gone off and lived very you know, comfortable lives. Chose not to. I mean, up and down those generations, they're, they're involved in nonprofits, they're running for elected office, they're trying to help their communities. I think that's something we should all aspire to. Absolutely. Thank you so much, you both, for joining us today. We certainly appreciate it.